in order to understand the seriousness of the problem that is gender violence, specifically violence against women, a thorough understanding of the figures involved is necessary. Think of 10 women that you know. They could be anyone, from your mother, to your sister, to your best friend. Now, apply the statistics that detail the level of violence that is perpetrated against women. Astonishingly, two of the 10 women that you think of will have been the victim of domestic violence. Violence that is committed in the privacy of the victim's own home, normally by someone they trust. And perhaps what is even more shocking is that four or five of these ten women will have been the victim of violence based purely upon the fact that they are female. It is when you comprehend these figures that you are able to comprehend the notion that not nearly enough is being done to safeguard and protect women of Europe from such atrocities. Body, which is responsible for handling the problem uh, is the Council of Europe Gender Equality Commission. Its main duty is to provide policymakers with the relevant information that concern the issue. Uh, needless to say, every EU member state has its own national bodies to examine the situation in their country. Uh, at the same time, many uh, interest groups have been taking serious action in order to fight for women's rights. Such groups, uh, whose work has been noticeable and which have played a really crucial role uh, in policy making, are uh, Women Against Violence Europe and European Women's Lobby.